What's good, gorgeous? My name's Theo, back for another round of boxes and bots in a fresh damn it open. You lucky people. Us lucky people. Hope we're all good out there. Hope we enjoyed the uh, Ninja Turtles video. I enjoyed making it and I hope you liked watching it. That's the best I can hope for. A little bit of housekeeping before we crack on today. Big one to start with, the um, figure collectors exhibition that's uh, going off in March has been cancelled. So that's the end of that. Major drag that one, major bummer. They're going to try and do something maybe later in the year, but this one, the 30th of March, it's just, it's not going ahead. That's life, baby! Congrats to giveaway winner Aaron Greenbaum. You've successfully claimed Pretender, Grimlock and Landmine. Hope you enjoy them. Congratulations! And with that, we bang on. Box 55, one hand, least street, not doing the men, G15, be a United Kingdom. First from the P.O. box then, we have a very cool and unusual uh, cyber gothy black and green box addressed to the show and not me. Love that. Very sort of laser tag vibes on this. I love the uh, little spidery emblems like a gaming PC. It literally is Xbox branded. All right then, you can't hide your gaming vibes from me. Huh, Adidas branding as well. Is this like a shoe box? Unexpected crossover of video games and going outside. Not in this house. This looks knockoffy. This is nuts, baby. Give me the paperwork. I need the paperwork. That is some sweeties. Is that like Cyrillic? Is that Russian? Yes, from Russia with love. Russian sweeties. Okay. Who are you? Here we go. Dear Theo, I've been a viewer for a few years and especially got a lot from your show during the pandemic. So whilst I'm briefly back in the UK, I thought I'd send you a few things I found on my travels for you to open. Damn it. Hope there's something in here for you to enjoy. All the best, Kevin Buchanan. Well, thank you, mate. That's very much appreciated. That's a familiar name, Kevin Buchanan. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to put this in some kind of order, because there's some wild stuff here. Let's get it all out the box first, and then we'll dig in. Ah, the classic. Just a sheet of uh, faction symbols. Autobots, Decepticons, you know the ones. Now, wrong with that? Uh, like a knockoff wind charger? This is the G1 wind charger, but bigger and worse. Oh, God, that feels like crap. Is that arm coming out? Ugh. Not without a fight. Oh my, oh my, that is a, that is a state. Oh, it's got outward leg movement. Does the original have that? I don't think so. Is this like missing link wind charger? <laughs> That's horrible. It's obviously been painted by hand. Really horrendous stuff. Lovely. Don't know what that is. Little scarab scorpion thingy. Looks like there should be like a release here. It looks like one of the deployers from RID 15. But I don't think it is, and it doesn't seem to want to do anything, so I'm not going to force it. Standard robot bug thing, I don't know. Now this is interesting, I haven't seen this before, but it looks semi-legit. Is it like a custom, or like an upgrade kit? Because it, it's Rack and Ruin. What the heck? That's really cool. I know there's never been, like, apart from Cyberverse, there's never been, like, a Generations Rack and Ruin toy. But this, it looks like I had an oversized green knockoff of Thrilling 30 Legends Megatron. It's definitely that engineering. It has the legs and bits and bobs and whatever, but also like an adapter, so they're bros now. It's just two of those with new heads, isn't it? Got an anvil there and a hammer. That's amazing, actually. Nice one, Kev. I've never had a rack and ruin for my collection. Not that there are many, but like, that's the first one I've ever had, I think. Beautiful. How we do in Rack and Ruin. There you go, I'll use that next time. Now this guy, this is one of those, I know it's an offshoot of Machine Robo, but I forget what they're called. We found out at some point, didn't we? Somebody clued me in as to what they were called. Unit Robo, right? So it's a shark and a vending machine. His name is simply Shark Vending Machine. <laughs> is that what he is? Thanks. Come on, and you are coming out of there. There's no way I'm gonna have this on the show and not do the thing. God, these are dumb, it's so good. You just have like an animal and an inanimate object and you smash them into each other and they form a robot? It's truly the most random thing I've ever seen. Because the other one I have, where is he at? Here we go, this is the other one I had. It's like a dragon sort of um, hell cryptid thing, but it's made out of a rhinoceros beetle and a little train, like a little um, astro trainy steam loco. Like it does look wonderful, doesn't it? You can see why this particular train got turned into so many toys. I never thought I'd see see a toy of one of these that converts into a dragon by smashing a bug onto it. And that is the world we're entering with this shark vending machine dealio. The shark looks pretty terrible, come on. It's just like solid plastic with a bit of spray, barely maintaining the illusion there. And the vending machine robot head, nice. It's just a sticker on a box. And I mean, what else would it be? Hey Barbie. All right, let's do this. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh, that's dreadful. Oh, I love him. Somewhere between like Bombshell and Soundwave, isn't it? Oh, that barely works as a robot. Come on. But do you want it to? What do you expect from this? I love that that one motion activates both toys. <laughs> Just turn into this bloody thing. It looks like that, and that's what you're getting. Thank you, Kevin. It's adorable. Little sound wave there. Uh, uh, that's it. Why has it got wheels? Oh, are those like the volume knobs. <laughs> right, I see. He's doing the thing. He looks very authentic. Beautiful. Some kind of a Transformers Prime capsule toy? All right. New one on me. We got Ratchet, Wheeljack, Soundwave, and uh, like a Yan Mega. No idea. Tiny Wheeljack. Yes, mate. Who are you? Never seen you before. Oh, this has got to be like an arms micron thing. It looks like it just turns into like a uh, shield projectile. It does have a handle. Yeah, that's a little whippa, little blade, little paddle thing. Never seen those before. Arms Micron weapons of the characters. That's a new one on me. Wait, no it isn't. What about that bulkhead that was a fist? Yeah, all right. Must be one of those. I didn't know there was more than one of those. I mean, it makes sense that there are, but I just never put it together. Having to recollect some very dusty old thoughts there. It's been a long time since I thought about these, and that is the Wheeljack one. These here appear to be a couple more of those target Troy boys? Like, we had the um, Optimus Prime, Megatron, Hot Rod, and Starscream a couple of episodes ago, and we now have the follow-up set. This must have been like a chase pack of the classic two-pack repaint pair, Ultra Magnus and Skywarp. Ultra Magnus being just Optimus in white, as he is wont to be, and Skywarp being uh, black and purple Starscream, which I guess is no less cheap. Oh, these are great. Speaking of small jets, actually, must do a quick uh, follow-up to uh, Brandon's package from last time, which uh, there was a core class legacy Thundercracker in there that I just missed, idiot. But he's amazing, as the core class toys generally are. Got Mohawk as well, he's great. So cheers, Brandon. Little uh, catch up for you there. Thank you, mate. And this is gonna make a lovely additional target master friend. I could give it to like Siege Skywarp or Earthrise. Just like that uh, Wheeljack Arms Micron, which I'll probably give to Wheeljack. Weapon of himself on himself. <laughs> Hell yeah, Skywarp squared. So that is Targetroids. Warp. His name's just Warp. A couple of little uh, thingamabobs here. We have a Transformers Galaxy version Optimus or Megatron. Let's uh, <laughs> let's solve that mystery right now. We can get to the bottom of this very easily. I see Grimlock and Starscream on the flaps. To oh, there's a whole range. So we might get any of these um, Autobots, a couple of Decepticons, and a mystery guy. Who could it be? Ah, uh, they've been opened. I think someone's curating to my tastes here. Oh. Oh, it's a model kit. Right, right. Yep, yep. That's very, uh, very warp-esque in there. So it's a little tiny Skywarp model kit. Amazing. I've got a few kits knocking about, actually. I should really do something with those. Might just be a downtime thing. But that's what that is. Little tiny model kit of uh, a very cute robot. I'll definitely put it together and show you at a later date. Yeah? All right. On to this thing, then. This is the last thing, I think, from this box. KT figure collection. 20th anniversary. 2004. God, that was, this is the exact midpoint of the Transformers franchise. We have the uh, Dreamwave art, which looks very old school now, but was super cutting edge at the time. And oh God, not that naked thing. It better not be that. There's gonna be a little tiny bust statue thing, either Rumble, Frenzy, uh, Optimus Prime. Oh, Convoy, I thought they said Cammy. Uh, Street Fighter, Devastator, or the um, digital lady from Robots in Disguise, which they, for some reason, made naked and put in a bath. What do you mean, for some reason? We know why. Is it Ty? Her name's Ty, and she's like a digital child, and they released her in the bath. That's really minging. All right. God, it's one of these. It's a, it's a strip tear open. I always feel so rancid opening these, because this has been pristine for 20 years, and now I'm going to open it for your amusement on the internet. <laughs> Oh no, <laughs> I thought we were gonna get a clean one. It never works. There, not the creepy one, not the creepy one. Oh, it's Devastator, hell yeah, all right. Oh wow, these little collector cards, man. God, Dreamwave was such a moment, wasn't it? Like, yes, it looks dated now, but it was so cool at the time, and it, there still is something about it. Little pamphlet here with Energon Prime on it. That would have been cutting edge at the time. Transformers masterpiece, lucky draw. Is that the world's smallest hot rod? Big G1 statue thing, that looks like the chess piece. And some mini cons, all right. So this looks to be a little assemblable diorama of Devastator doing some devastating. Oh yeah, vinyl, vinyl fantasy. We begin with a little devastator torso, the devastate torso, <laughs> with a weird smile. What is that? 
What emotion is that? And the arm, the bone crusher arm over here has a little L-shaped uh, plug, which clearly goes into this socket right here. Arm has its own socket, a similarly sort of Tetrisy looking one, which plugs into this extra bit here, this weird sort of terrain, which turns out is the wall of Autobot City. It's the uh, let the slaughter begin moment, immortalized in chunky plastic. A little bit of ground here, a bit of Autobot City ground with RC looking like she's not having an awesome time. So not Slay. This and the crotch gap plug into that. Let me just awkwardly do that. <laughs> Oh, that's rad. Come on, that's fantastic. And the final piece is a little tiny baby hot rod. Come on, that's pretty good, isn't it? That's a very sort of um, iconic moment from Transformers uh, history, immortalized in sort of vinyl and PVC. That's very cool, actually, and it's so small and sort of compact. RC and Hot Rod weren't doing that at that moment. Doesn't really matter. It's just Devastator doing the thing, and these guys sort of participating in the scene. Hot Rod being the hero, and RC being all Oh, help me, I'm a girl. She didn't do that. Little bit creepy, but generally pretty awesome. And most of all, it is a very interesting item. It's unusual, not something I've seen before, and it's the, the perfect sort of thing we find on Damn It Open. So that's a hell of a little package there. Nice one, Kevin. That's the kind of stuff we like. Checking out oddities from uh, all the sort of forgotten and less explored nooks of Transformer life. Put that in the bin. Before we forget, I'm gonna try one of these Russian sweets. Not sure what that says. Any uh, interpreters out there? Anybody have Google Lens handy? Tell you who does have Google Lens handy is uh, me. Mm, orange miracle candies, is it? Okay. Little choco log there with presumably some orange in it. Oh yeah. Mmm. 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 <laughs> oh, that's divine. Gee whiz. That's a shame, actually. I'm trying to cut down on the snacks because I've uh, I've gone a bit bloaty. And yet, an enormous bag of orange chalky deliciousness just dropped in my house. Oh no! Right then, next up we have a uh, sturdy envelope from somewhere. Very Amazon-y vibes. I don't recall ordering anything. Oh, a book! Fossil Force! The Kryloth Invasion! Cheeky packing Amazon slip here. A gift from Paul Poe. That's the author. Hello, Thew. I've been a fan of the channel for years. I wanted to thank you with a copy of my new book. Hope you like it. Please share with anyone who might be interested. It's for sale on Amazon. Thanks and rock on from Paul Poe. No, you rock on. I like your vibe. I like your vibe. All right, so it looks like a cheeky novel about futuristic space dinosaurs. The dinosaur people of Paleon 4. <laughs> Enjoyed a peaceful existence in the advanced utopian city-state of Arthron City. A massive starship appeared in the atmosphere above their world, bringing invaders from the planet Kryloth. God, this sounds very silly. All right, this looks like a fun read. Fossil Force, The Kryloth Invasion by Paul Poe. Please do uh, maybe check that out if you fancy some dino sci-fi. I know I do. Thank you, Paul. I'll give it a read. Fossil Force. Da -da 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 -da. I saw some brilliant dinosaur knockoffs in B&M today. Like, there was a huge gold sort of vacuum foiled version of AoE Snarl and a little combiner set. I think it was like the TFC Toys uh, dinosaur combiner from a few years ago, but a naff thin plastic version thereof. I was very tempted to grab some. They were like four pounds each, but I do have the TFC dinosaur combiner somewhere. Plenty going on at the moment. Anyway, I don't need to be buying more knockoffs. Got a cellar full of them. Anyway, last one for today. It's a nice big one. Gonna crack it open on oh, damn it open. Burn. I don't want to dox this guy by mistake, but it just says few in the top corner. I would love it if that's all you had to put. You just write the word few on something, chuck it in the mail, and it ends up here somehow. In an ideal world, that would happen. But we live in this one. So it's box 55, one Hanley Street, nothing, and then you won't the L. <sighs> here we go. Oh my god, this is so much food. I can't do snacks. I'm getting so fat, lads. Good day, few. Hope you had a Merry Christmas and a wonderful new year. It's March. But yes, I did. Thank you. It's been a hot minute since I sent something your Way, but I've been grabbing up a fair lot of Transformers figures during my travels to Japan. I decided to go with quality over quantity this time, so no knockoffs for you to beat down this time. Thank you. This is domestic Takara Transformers from yesteryears that I've managed to find while sampling many second-hand stores around the Tokyo area. Oh, cool. This is a great episode so far. Shout out to my best mate Phoenix Fire for helping me out while I track these down. And without further ado, go on and dig in. I've used that one lots of times, but I appreciate that. Keep it real, Baku Oppenheimer. Thank you, mate. Yeah. Crunky Crunch Chocolate. That is delicious. Harmony, that's more Chockies, more fruit. 
fruity chockies looks like. Strawberry cream choc. Don't know what that is. Looks like fudge. Edamame chips. All right. Might have those for lunch tomorrow. Cheeky boy. Choco bat ace. Macadamia. Oh. Spy Family Macadamia Chocky Snacks and some Pocky, obviously. My favourite Decepticon, Pock Wave. Oh, weird. Cammy. That's so weird. When was the last time you thought about Cammy? I thought that said Convoy. Oh, it's that guy. I recognise him. In mound of Chocky here. Anyway, I believe it's time for robots. Oh my god, alright. Wow. <laughs> You're kidding! That is, um, bloody lights. I can never get it right. But this is Transformers United, uh, 2012, 13, thereabouts. This is the Axelon, which is based on the spaceship from Beast Wars. And it's a repaint of Energon Sharkticon. That is wild! You, my friend, are coming out of there. We ain't being precious today, baby. Getting all these fancy Japanese toys straight out the boxes. Don't even worry about it. I do love the older Transformers. Transformers United packaging with the explosion there. Like, we know bad guy versus nice guy, but like, that's, is that the Classics 06 toy? Little box blurb there, amazing box art. The cheeky light piping portrait there, appreciate that. They know me, these guys know me. But yeah, United. We've got Legacy United on the go now. There will never be enough words in the Transformers sort of idiolect. It's always, robots in disguise, one that means the eye. And now United has joined that club. And it's Legacy United. Oh yeah, I remember this guy. I had the uh, Energon Sharkticon ever so briefly for a couple of years back in the 2010s. Did a video about the Botcon one with Colin and Brent. And now here we are with the third deco. Doesn't really look like a spaceship, does it? It looks like a big fish. It's a Sharkticon. That was the vibe in the Energon. They did it so it was like a battleship that looked like a fish. And now it's a spaceship that still looks like a fish. God, I remember seeing ages ago, just some guy's blog, his little art project, where he'd take like household items and turn them into spaceships. There was a stapler and like a can opener and that kind of stuff. Just everyday household common items that he would illustrate as a spaceship. Pretty cool, actually. I was very impressed by that. But this is the vibe of that. It's a shark that they've turned into a spaceship. And I'm sure this mode has more hidden stuff. Yeah, there it is. There it is. We can open out the front a little bit and reveal the uh, cannons. Yeah, there we are. Load it up with the blasters, baby. The little cannons on top. That's so good. So sort of maritime nautical. Anything but space, honestly. <laughs> but yeah, in United, I think this was repurposed, obviously as the Beast Wars uh, space cruiser, but I think it was intended as like uh, an opposite number to the Cybertron Unicron? Right? Because Legacy United is now what United was trying to be at the time, I think. Like drawing all the guys from different continuities and trying to weave them into the same universe. That actually is very cool. Yeah! Who is he? Legacy Axelon! I keep saying Legacy. <laughs> it's throwing me off, man. Transformers United Axelon. That's so dope. Let me hit some uh, light piping on this. Oh, yeah! That's that. Energon era light piping. That's quality. God, wonderful. Thank you, Baku, by the way. United Axelon repurposed from Energon into Beast Wars via some other thing. Very cool indeed. Love that deco. It's so sort of Last Autobot classic space robot vibe. Just black and grey and red. What's wrong with that? <laughs> the bridge. Kind of looks like a Decepticon badge, doesn't it? You can picture something going on in there. I don't know. It's like Ark. Years before Ark. You over there. Deluxe class Axelon. As if. <laughs> Wonderful. Got some deep cuts here, man. Axelon, Rack and Ruin? Who else is gonna be in here? Ooh. This one is staying right in the box. Transformers animated Takara. Voyager class Skywarp. Oh baby, the chrome. It's so shiny. Yeah, a lot of these have been showing up recently, haven't they? Like we had the uh, Elite Guard Optimus a little while ago. I think they just, they must have been like a case find. I don't know why they're so prevalent now. You couldn't find them at the time. 2010, these were nowhere. Oh look, there's another one of those. <laughs> 
This was the vibe! Optimus Megatron Bang! I never thought it looked cool, but somebody must have. But yes, Voyager class Skywarp. I never liked the animated Seeker mold, the Voyager one. It was clumsy and awkward and I, it just didn't work for me. I didn't like it. But it does look very nice in this premium Takara paint job because they don't really do that anymore and I like that they don't because it just overcomplicated things and the conversation always was, oh, have you gone for the Takara one? Because it's better. Shut up. Let me enjoy my sideswipe. But no question, that is way nicer. Because the uh, Hasbro one was sort of matte and like lilac-y and it just didn't look great, but this really does. And I am never taking it out of there. Skywarp is my man and I will keep him pristine. Oh, what a find. Baku, thank you so much, mate. Uh, some kind of cycle? I'm certain this is the Energon RC mold, but uh, I don't know what this character is. Blue, it could be Chromia or Moonracer or the Parrot medic. Let's robot this lass up and then we'll figure out what it is. It's very good. This was one of the first sort of fully articulated motorbike formers and a big moment for sort of female representation in toys. This was a big moment for that. But um, <laughs> 20 years on it is a smidge awkward. <laughs> like the hands. Little baby finger here. That's supposed to be the forearm. Man, that is snazzy. I love the, uh, the bright green head and the turquoise bod. Who is she? I need to find this out. Vintage damn it open this is. See, flare up? Could it be flare up? There we are, aerial paradron type. So it's aerial. I don't really know who that character is. Was this Elita pre-Elita? Cause I know there was a box set of aerial in Legacy, like in the last year or so. I'm sure there was a box set. Was it aerial and Dion? Yeah, I'm sure it was. It was one of those ones that kept showing up in like weird spots and nobody could get one. I don't know. I didn't get one for sure. But yes, aerial paradron type. Very unusual find. Crank some darkness on this just so you can make out the details. There we go. Weird sort of teardrop design on the eyes. Very strange. But that's very cool and very rare to see. Axelon, paradron. A few more things we have. Oh, Q Transformers. Q Transformers, Skywarp. Yay, I have this. I reviewed it at the time when it came out. <laughs> that is one of the more fun uh, Q Transformer designs, the Seeker with this little tubby sort of beehive bod. Little three pack of Q Transformers. Didn't know you could do these. We have Soundwave, Megatron and Shockwave, the big three Decepticons, plus a Seeker. Look at that. These are wonderful. I was um, meaning to do a uh, monthly Megatron on the Q Transformers guy, so I'm not gonna bang these out just yet. But Shockwave there, oh my. That's adorable. There's been a few sort of car Shockwaves. Spinal Tech uh, Laser Wave, obviously, the Alternators one. And I'm sure there was a purple version of like Special Ops Jazz? A very standard Autobot, just redone in purple with Shockwave's head, and it looked great, actually. But for me, this is something I need to get into later. These are uh, very adorable. The little anime profile pics are so good. Isn't there a Q Transformers show? There's like a cartoon, isn't there? With like Lockdown and Bayverse Prime and they just sort of talk shop. Can't spell Q Transformers without cute. And lastly, we have Superlink. Optimus Prime, hell yeah! That's so pristine. Is it? No, it's not sealed. It's uh, it's in a wrapping, but the box itself is open. All right, I'm getting in there. Yeah, that vacuum pack was clearly added after the fact. This box is very much open. This toy has been enjoyed, and why not continue that? Straight from the heart of 2004 today. Super Link Optimus, the chubbiest prime of all time. Oh, he's red. Why is he red? Wow, weird. Good gosh, look at this. Who is it? It's like Inferno. Overwhelmingly fire guts Jinrai energy on this. Just red and orange and like glowy. I have never ever seen this before in my life. Like we know Optimus Prime is red, but come on. He's not all red usually. Nice motion on these arms. Oop. Yeah, you sort of just nudge them and then they take themselves the rest of the way. Oh, very satisfying. Head goes on a stalk like that. He's got a helmet that goes on. Is that good? I don't think so. Eh, there we are. Big red chonker. All right, let me grab the other one. So this is the standard Energon Optimus. This was the smaller Optimus Prime that came in the two pack with the smaller Megatron. Because I know they both had bigger versions. There was a leader class Megatron and I think an Ultra 
Optimus that combined with the uh, drones into a big super guy, but this version is not that. This is the smaller one that doesn't do shit. And there is this mysterious new red one that I somehow have for some reason. Let me find out what this is. This is fascinating. What a day. Come on, show me which version this is. It's very interesting. I've never seen it before. Never seen it before. Here we go. <gasps> oh my God. Fire SL Grand Convoy, a TV magazine exclusive, limited to 3000 pieces. What the hell, man? Limited edition Red Fire Optimus. Oh, that's so dope. As if. Let's find this second hand in Japan and chuck it over here. Thank you. Look at this bloody thing. It's wonderful. <laughs> he said, showing off the saggy bag of crap this toy is. It's a gorgeous, unusual piece. This this is just wild repaint city, man. Axelon, the Paradrom Medic, Fire SL Grand Convoy. What the hell, man? Incredible. Mate. Why? And also thank you. <laughs> Jeez, I'm gonna have to throw some photos of this up on Instagram and that. This is a good looking toy, man. So, uh, thanks? <laughs> Jesus, dude. I guess we'll have to leave it there for now. Thank you so much to everybody who sent something in. Baku and Paul Poe, don't forget to check out Fossil Force. And Kevin as well for all that other weird stuff from uh, the Far East. What a weird episode. <laughs> Snacks and repaints and little gizmos and things. That's what we call a damn it open. Thank you so much, gang. So cheers for joining me. It's March on the channel. Hell yeah. So join me for some more stuff in March. I'm going to put out a couple more fun reviews that I'm working on. I might bring April back. I don't know. We've got tons of stuff in the oven. Leave it with me and I'll serve you a feast of entertainment. Play it again. <laughs> Simply wild stuff. I cannot keep up with how lucky I am. Cheers to all the patrons who helped me do my thing. Massively appreciate you, gang. Means a lot. Big thanks, especially this time, to uh, Lieutenant Cliff Jumper. Excellent work, yes. Marvelous. Bravo. Blah, blah, blah. Appreciate you, boo. See you on the next one. Be sure to subscribe for more Thew's Awesome Transformers reviews. Limited appeal, keeping it real.